Long hair, short hair. He's a pie with a cult following. He's got Twitter followers ever. He's approaching 100 games. Great to have him on game day for the first time. Harry O, thanks for coming on. Thanks a lot for having me. Yesterday at the MCG, if there's a better finish to a game this year, it's going to be an unbelievable game to watch. You're in the defence. You must have been sweating. Where were you in the last 30 seconds? Well, look, uh, the big Harry O was... Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, I, I, got, I got dared to speak about myself in, in third person, so I thought I'd just squeeze that in. Just one of my Twitter followers um, dared me to do that. No, I was actually about 15 metres away, front and square, and I, I thought Pedard had taken the mark, and I just remember my head just dropping. And then uh, the siren went and I realised that he dropped the ball and it was fantastic. Well, let's, let's just get to the game because it was an unbelievable one-point win to the Pies after beating the Dogs last week. They came in at $1.05. A sportsbet.com.au partner had $130,000 on you blokes, Harry, yesterday to win six and a half thousand. Imagine how he is feeling when Ricky Pettard had his first hands on it. One-point win. Richo, you were there, you called it. Go for it. Yeah, I've seen Melbourne the last two weeks. You know, you couldn't get a bigger contrast, really. And they, they came out and started the game well. It was a, a really good contested footy game. And Melbourne had their key indicators right. Their tackle pressure was good and their contested footy was good. But this week, the difference was they had some forwards that was presenting up at the ball and giving uh, some options to their back half-backs. Now, uh, Collingwood, Collingwood were a little bit off the money. This guy here, Pendlebury, was probably the best midfielder and he needed to be because some of their other A-graders, Swanee, uh, Didak and Davis, had more quiet days. So, Dane Beam stepped up as well. Lynn Dunn was very good for Melbourne, kicking a goal there. He competed really well in the forward line. But it was Ricky Pettard who was the main player on the ground. Neon there ignited it and he, the cream rose to the top. But this is what everyone's talking about. Ricky, he was good all day. He had good purchase on it, and that was with about two seconds to go. And you can see you really felt for Ricky because he had probably been nearly the best player on the ground at that stage and just didn't quite hold it. Three things, Richie, you learned from an unbelievable football <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> well, I've learned that AFL was the best reality TV, but I didn't actually say that. Dwayne Russell did. Uh, a week is a long, long time in footy. As I said, I saw Melbourne last week and it was chalk and cheese. And Ricky Pettard is a long-term hold for the Melbourne Footy Club. He's got a really big future, I think, in this game. Harry, uh, as we look at R Ricky Petard, yesterday, were you surprised at how the Ds came out and attacked the football? Mick, Mick Malthouse said that's just what they do against Collingwood, but they got thumped last week, and you beat yeah. a side everyone's saying can win the flag. Um, no, I wasn't surprised at all. Like, they got a lot of uh, media scrutiny during the week, um, and I think it's just fantastic to see them bounce back that way, and I, we expected it. Young, they've got a lot of young players, Got a lot of pride at the Melbourne Football Club, and we just we knew that they'd come out hard, and they've got a lot of uh, talent as well. So when you com combine the youthful enthusiasm with the talent, yep. you know anything can happen. Harry, take us through this tactic, uh, which was outlawed in, in some ways over the summer for uh, probably the, the roughness of it last year. Here you are coming on the ball. There, just take us through what you're trying to do there, or when you decide to do it, are you the allocated man to do it? I think that's called a shepherd. Yeah, um, yeah just trying to. Trying to give my teammates space. I, yeah, it's been. So you think of that? You get told, does everyone get told to do it? Or are you the person in the back line that says, right, I can see well, this whole go up and do it? It's been in the game for, yep. for a long time. For 100 so years. For 100 years. But exactly. not quite like that. Well, if you want to call me the pioneer of that particular move, I'd be very happy. <laughs> well, <laughs> you can put that yeah. on your Twitter, Harry. Yeah, well, why not? <laughs> I think you are the pioneer because if you look in the rule book, it probably definitely is allowed, but probably no one's really thought to do it. So it's so a good it's, move. You, you, it's yours. Well, let's call it something. Let's call it the Harry O. Shepherd. Oh, right. Twitter it today. I will. Twitter right, it now. I'm calling a game <laughs> today. I'm going to call it the Harry O. Shepherd. That's unbelievable. Ben Johnson broke his yeah. leg last year. How is he today? Uh, I'm not too sure. He's, he's getting some scans today. This is him going down yesterday yeah. on the halfback line. He's had a fantastic pre-season, which is it's un it's unfortunate to, to see him go down. He was in good spirits, though. But, um, do they think it's more of a, a kneecap problem, not yeah. a ligament, oh, Harry? I'm not too sure. Dislocation. Yeah. They said dislocation. I want to ask one question. You Sorry, it's not on the rundown. No, go for it. You talked about Melbourne getting criticised all week and they knew they were going to come out strong. On the opposite, mm. Collingwood were talked about all yeah. week as premiership favourites. Did you blokes get ahead of yourselves? Oh, I, don't, I don't think so. And, and only people inside the, the inner sanctum of the football club can really know that from, from a distance you could probably... That's, it's an easy probably. thing to say. I'm not saying, I'm exactly. asking, yeah. The, yeah. I'm asking yeah. the question. Yeah, I, no, I don't think so. We, our intent was there, we really did want to play well and, and um, to win and have a really good win, but 
we can't take anything away from Melbourne. They were fantastic. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I think you're taking a little bit away yeah. from Melbourne mm. when you do say that. Their, their contested footy and tackling yeah. was right up there, and that's what you need to be able to do, and they did it, and they put a lot of pressure on the Pies. Well, there couldn't have been more different weeks for coaches. Dean Bailey under pressure. Mick Malthouse, and in fact, we asked on uh, Friday, Thursday Night Football, whether Mick Malthouse will win a flag within the next two years. Every Collingwood member said yes, and a few said no. So, anyway, it was an unbelievable build-up for uh, the Ds. They got slammed everywhere, and they responded on the field. Yeah, and like I said earlier, it's fantastic for football, and especially the Melbourne fans who have had to endure some hard times to, to see their team play that way. And I'll say they were, they were fantastic and very unlucky to, to, to lose the game. The man with a massive uh, Twitter following is staying with us. He takes on Joey's mob on Friday Night Football, which is going to be a monster. And after the break, Lee Matthews, his mo comes off. Stay with us on game day.